there is a shockingly simple process and framework that I use to get ChatGPT to do exactly what I want it to. So stick around, this video is gonna show you how to do exactly that. All right, so what I've done is I've brought you inside my own chat GPT account. And as you can see from the left side here, this is actually, I've been using this for weeks. So before I get into the process of actually training up chat GPT to act just like you, what I wanna do is I wanna explain the difference between projects and custom GPTs, because that's something that I discovered over the past couple of weeks. And actually chat told me that. So basically what I did is custom GPTs are, if you want to go ahead, you wanna share something with a VA, you wanna share it with your email list, put something publicly out there on the store, and something that you don't want somebody who's not you to edit, right? So this is what's gonna happen. So the average, you can train something up on say a popular software, or if you want people to mimic a framework that you teach, you'll train up your GPT and then release it to other people for other people to use. The idea of you using your own custom GPT can easily be replaced by creating a project. So as you can see here inside my own content project here, I've got all these different chats. All of these different chats act like my own personal custom GPTs up here. Although the process of training them is the same, save one or two steps, which I'll explain. And for my own personal business here as a content creator, as a digital service provider, as a, a content marketer, I've got basically I'm launching a new a new program next month. Um, so it's helping me kind of flesh that out in terms of uh, in terms of the webinar, in terms of the lessons. I want to have if I'm not feeling creative, I can have it create short form talking head kind of videos and then ideas list. If I'm out of video ideas, I can just kind of keep that there. I'm keeping a running tally with chat, telling it all of my ideas and I can go into that chat and say, hey, what, what if I have ideas about? It'll spit out what I have. I can pick one, make a video that day. Facebook text posts, broadcast emails. Uh, this is actually the one that has directly made me the most money is the broadcast email generator. And this is the one that I'm gonna show you how to create in this video today. This email generator chat here and this email broadcast generator GPT over here do the exact same thing and have the outputs, except I can share this with somebody on my team if I have a VA right? and I wanna write emails. And this is something I can write personally. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new GPT, but just know that you could either have a project ongoing chat, or you can create a custom GPT and you'll get roughly the same result. So to access and create a new GPT, you're going to go to Explorer GPTs and then click up here to where it says create. Obviously you have to be logged in and you have to have a GPT pro account for the 20 bucks a month to be able to do this. Now, before we start feeding it commands, this is an overview of the training process. So first, what you want to do is you want to define the role of the chat or define the role of the GPT. And then what you want to do after you've kind of defined the role, you want it to speak like you do. That was one of my biggest resistances to AI, to chat GPT, was that it didn't sound like me. It sounded like a generic robot, but I figured out I was able to upload a lot of my content specific to that role and then train it and, and it'll figure out how I speak and then everything output kind of sounds like me. And then you want to try and do is you want to explain what it's doing again, because now it will have context of you. It knows what it's doing now. It knows who it's supposed to sound like. And then what we're going to do is we're going to iterate it until we're happy with the output. And then for a GPT, we're going to update the instructions so that anybody who, uh, who clicks one of these conversations conversation starters is going to get the right output. Uh, if you're doing a chat, you do not need to do these last two steps. So back over to chat GPT. And what we're going to do is the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to define the role. Now over here on your GPT screen, you've got your create and you've got your configure. I still don't know how to use the configure screen over here. I have chat do it for me. So everything I do is over here in the create screen. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, define the role of what I want the chat to do. Okay, so the first thing that I'm telling chat here is I wanna create a GPT that will write broadcast emails that sound exactly like me, what you want it to do. Now, besides submitting examples of previous broadcast emails, which is what you're gonna have to do, if you've written emails before, you need to give it a writing sample to model after, that way it's gonna sound exactly like you. It's important that you ask it, what else do you need? This single question that I asked chat has unlocked so many different levels of success with chat, asking it what else it needs, because it will literally tell you, I need this to do what you want me to do. Uh, what else do you need to really dial that in and how many examples do you need? So I'm asking them how many examples of broadcast emails do I need? We're gonna hit enter and chat's gonna go ahead and it's gonna tell me. And it's a really simple answer here, right? So chat now has told me they're gonna need at least five to 10 emails that showcase my tone, style, and typical message. Messaging. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take five to 10 emails that have all promoted the same thing. And by doing that, by having five to 10 emails that all promoted the same thing that I wrote, right? If you, if you upload swipe files, you're going to write like the person who wrote the swipe file. So what I want you to do is I want you to sit down and I want you to write the emails. So it sounds like you and your average person can't tell what's AI and what's you. And if they're all promoting the same thing, they're all going to have similar stone tone style and messaging. 
Your emails vary by audience or purpose. It's helpful to include a mix of those two. This is where I disagree with chat because I'm going to, if I'm gonna use this for broadcast, I'm gonna use one for follow-up, I'll create two different GPTs. I'll do one for broadcasts and one for follow-up because I generally will use a different tone in each email. I don't wanna mix the two. I wanna have separate GPTs with separate tones. Uh, beyond examples, any specific phrases to use, general tone, handle greetings, sign-offs, and calls to action, any brand or personal values that you want to shine through. So this is a list of things. I just now have to answer that question for chat. Now what I've done here is before we answer the questions, I'll up upload some examples. So we're, we're telling chat that, hey, we're gonna train you first and then we're gonna come back to these. Uh, what format do you want these in? Because sometimes they might want a CSV or a doc file, whatever. Um, are Word docs needed or can I just copy and paste them in a chat message? All right, so we can copy and paste our examples directly here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go grab some broadcast emails for something I promoted and upload them here. So what I've done is I've hopped into my high level account and I've gone and grabbed all of my email marketing campaigns that I have sent. Now I try to stay organized in this folder. So I try to keep a folder for each thing that I have promoted. So for me, for this perpetual leads machine, this was a YouTube uh, workshop that I did about six months ago and I had some emails that were promoted that. So I've got about six broadcast emails. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. It's real simple. I go to the preview. I'm going to go in. I am going to select it. I'm going to come out here. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to go to chat. I'm going to so show here comes email number one. And I'm just going to paste it right there. Now what chat's going to do it's already starting to basically pick out all of the patterns and how I speak. So what I'm gonna do is off camera, I'm gonna go and do this five more times and I'll come back when I'm done. A few moments later. All right, so after a few minutes of uploading all of my emails, basically just copy and pasting, chat's giving me a synopsis of what it's finding in the emails. So now what I wanna do, once I have them all in here, okay, I just wanna ask it now, all right, what insights did you get from my writing style? Now it's gonna tell you exactly what it had. And then once you ask it, this is what it's gonna show you. It gives you your tone of your voice, your structure and pacing, your content style, your common patterns and techniques, unique elements to you, what make you, you, and then what that they'd love to clarify. So now here you go. So this is some things here. Um, let's clarify some things. I would say, so now what I'm gonna do into here is I'm basically just gonna, I'm gonna reformat the bullets the way that it gave it to me so that it understands, right? So I'll say, keep the, talking like a buddy tone, or should I say vibe, right? Keep like keep the talking like a buddy vibe. Number two, any particular phrases, I would just say avoid all of the general, I call them giveaway AI phrases, like delve into, unleash. There's some things that you just know someone's using chat GPT. I, it kind of knows what it likes to you. Delve into, unleash, etc. You know what you like to use often. I kind of, again, talk to chat like it's a person, okay? And then do I want every email to include a personal story? Only include a story when it feels natural. And then I, at the end, I'm gonna say, what else do you need? So again, at the end, every time we're answering questions, ask it what else it needs. Eventually it's gonna go ahead and say, I have everything that I need. Okay, so the first few, a few quick questions to dial this in. How do you want to handle greetings and sign-offs? Stick with the casual, hey, first name. Let's go um, those. Those sign-offs are fine. Um, as for formatting, I always tell it to sparingly use emojis because chat is always going to use emojis liberally. Um, and then should it mirror my typical length? Um, I'll be like length, keep the length consistent with what I have. So now we've given chat all its answers. Okay, so now chat's telling me it's ready to move forward. What we've gone here through the process, we've defined the role of the chat, we've uploaded our content and we've trained it. Now we've explained it again. So we've gotten past the first three. So now chat has its context, it has what it wants to do. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna iterate until we're happy with it. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna say, um, let's go here, uh, let's do some examples. Uh, write me a broadcast email that is promoting the importance of go high level. Include a story about me that exclude a story about me about how that explains how high level added profit in my business. Now, if you're creating this for yourself on your own time, I would put a little bit more thought into the story to just say, this is what I want to promote. And then this is actually um, the story that I want you to add. But go ahead and do that. It's going to create me a, it's going to create me a subject. And now it's going to write an email based on everything that we just trained it on. Now, if you've been on my email list,
list, you'll know that this is probably gonna sound exactly like me. So now it's gonna say here, I gotta tell you a story. A while back, I was juggling a handful of tools, but all those tools meant I was bleeding cash. I found high level, right? It kind of goes through, adds the bullet points the way I want, um, if you're tired of overpaying. And then it even adds the PS like I normally do. If you're already an affiliate of mine, you know the drill, reach out and keep setting things up. So let's just say though, if I wanted to make this email a little bit longer, right? Add some more context, right? I want to, what we're doing now is we're iterating until we're happy. Now I've trained again, like probably 10 of these since I started doing it. So hot. chat kind of knows exactly what I wanted to do, right? So let's go into there. Let's say, let's, let's add some context and Okay, so what I've done now is I've actually iterated again. I want my emails to have a little bit more length. And what this did is it basically just added a little bit more, you know, length to it. It added some on the on the bullet points, but it's essentially the same email in the same structure because that's how I write. As I'm gonna say, adding depth, it's clear in before and after. Yes, I'm like, this is good. Now, if you were creating this in a project chat, you would be done. Along the way, chat would be updating its memory, would be updating its context and remembering these styles throughout your entire chat GPT account. Now, since we're doing this in a custom GPT, we don't have that context. If we get out of this, if we get out of this window, it's gonna lose all this memory. So what we wanna do now is we wanna change the configure side to mimic everything that we did conversationally. I don't know how to work the configure side. So what I do here, I'm like, yes, let's, build this. Now I'm just saying, yes, let's build this. Update the configure side to reflect this, right? I'm not sure how to prompt it or use it. And now watch this. This is the coolest thing. This was the biggest unlock for me. What chat's going to do is chat's basically creating its own prompt to have this type of output over on this side. As this little wrench turns, you'll see this little, this little, uh, purple thing go around. And when that's done, we're going to have a, a, basically a updated custom GPT might try it again. Sometimes it, it flukes out. So be patient. I've never seen it take more than three times, but sometimes. All right. So of course, when I go to make the video chat's going to glitch out three times, I've never seen this happen, by the way. Um, if we go to configure though, we've also got the instructions that are over here. This is actually pretty good. So this is, it's already written the instructions already written this over here. Let's come over to here and then let's say something. Um, what is the issue you're running into? We're getting there though. We got most of the prompt over to the other side. Okay. So I think chat's going to be working here in the background, trying to simplify this down. And uh, what we're going to do is now we want to get these conversations started. So if we go back here into our training process, we've updated the GPT instructions, which I think again, are kind of, I think they're there. <laughs> Cause if you go over, if you go over to configure, you still have it over here. Uh, if we go back into the, now we want to update the conversation starters and the conversation starters are these ones over here are these kind of buttons. So what'll happen now, if we come over to the create side, I'll be like, okay, let's update the conversation starters. Now, what I do to update a conversation starter is I basically just tell it, this is what I want to do. What's the prompt that you need? So I go, I want to click a button and then have you ask what I'm promoting and what story to include before you write the email. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna update the configuration and we're gonna see what happens. Hey guys, post editing Dom here. I know the video gets a little bit choppy in these past couple seconds. Essentially what happened was chat was throwing me an error, got a little frustrated with it and I decided to just kind of roll anyway, even though chat was telling me it wasn't quite right, it wasn't working, but it did. It actually ended up working out and updating the GPT. So essentially just follow everything that I was doing, ignore all of the chop and then kind of continue on as normal once you create the GPT. Okay, so let's see. So now we've upped these ones here, but let's try this right now. It looks like the configure is over here. Of course, when I go to make the video, this is what's gonna happen on the chat side of things. But let's go ahead, let's create the GPT. Anyone with the link, if you wanna share this with a VA or share this with anyone, that's fine. You just wanna make sure that you have the share GPT, anyone with the link. And then we've got only me, which we're gonna use for the purposes of this video because I want it to write like me. We're gonna view the GPT and let's see if it worked. So now we can go into here. Let's go write a broadcast email. Now it's asking me, what are we promoting in the email and do we have a specific story? So this is working the way that I wanted it to work. So all those error messages were just basically chat kind of working itself. I guess it worked itself out in the background. Again, might as well be magic in the back end of this for me. Let's, so we're promoting go high level and I want to include a story about how much time I've saved using it this week. Now, again, chat's going to make this up. You want to basically include the story of yourself, put some more time into that. I'm just saying you write a story about how much time I've saved for this, for the purposes of this video. 
you're gonna wanna train chat. If, if you're using the projects, you wanna train chat on your offers. And now here's what's gonna be. You're gonna say, hey, contact first name. Of course, that's gonna be in the, in the high level format. And then after a couple of seconds, what's gonna happen now, it's gonna say, hey, hot contact first name, which is going to be in the high level format. You can copy and paste this into, a, into an email campaign. It says, I got hours of my life back. It includes a story, it gives me everything in my, uh, in my style, and it includes a link, which I'll probably have to edit though. But that's basically how you're gonna train up a custom GPT. That's the process to get it to speak exactly like you and not sound like AI. And if you want more on this, consider subscribing to the channel. I'll probably do a series on AI tools because now they're a big part of my business and my life. And I wanna share it with everybody here on YouTube. So subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna learn more about High Level and how to get started, I've actually put videos up in these corners for you to go ahead and check out. So I will see you up there or in my next video.